Hey folks, Ola here, coming at you from the homestead. Well, Studio A is gone for the next month or two. No problems, it just had to go in for warranty work and they're severely backlogged due to not just coronavirus, but uh, that's just the way RV maintenance is. It's crap. But anyways, Hank the Tank is gone. So I'm out here poolside just to give you a little update on uh, First of all, the shoulder. Things are still going well, and I've actually started some resistance training, mainly just with my own body weight and a little bit on the yellow bands. But uh, I did this myself. Started on Saturday, I was able to get my arm back there. It's still kind of painful, but I can do it. So I'm making my own ponytails. That's a huge, huge accomplishment for me. So uh, yeah, we're into resistance training, still doing my PT at home twice a day, every day that I'm not in the clinic. And in fact, I'm getting ready to go to the clinic in an hour. I've moved down to two days a week as opposed to three. And uh, yeah, so things are just progressing quite well with me. Our COVID-19 restrictions are beginning to relax a little bit, unless you're in South Florida, down in Dade County and Broward County and all those places, they're still quite locked down. And for the elderly and the immune compromised like myself, you're still advised to wear a mask and stay at home. So yes, when I go to physical therapy, I got a mask on. So still no fishing for me, but I have a doctor's appointment next week on Wednesday and maybe he'll let me do a little bank fishing, maybe. So we'll see about that. How are things going in your states? I've seen some of you posting continuous nonstop fishing, which is awesome. That's what I'd be doing right now if it weren't for this. I mean, I missed prime spawn time. Oh, especially down in Felsmere, you guys. It's been on fire in the past, but it is really on fire this year. They're catching double digits left and right. Yeah, other than that, I got nothing. Well, actually I do. I have a couple of couple of tech unboxings that may or may not interest you, whatever. They are for fishing though, so let's get to these unboxings. Let's do this little one first. This one I saw on Facebook, I think it was. Several people have it, so, you know, I run my GoPros on external power, so if the rain starts, my GoPros aren't waterproof, and I hate to put them in waterproof cases, and then the, the audio is crap, so I just let them run, and if it starts raining, I throw a baggie on top of them. Well, several people are using it. That's the company, and let me say about this company, 3BR, Power Sports. I ordered it on Monday and I had it in hand 48 hours later. So, and it came from, I think it came from Carlsbad, California. So yeah, there we have it. This is a, an all weather external kit for your GoPro. So what it does basically is it integrates the power cable into an aluminum housing that lets your GoPro go into the housing and it's protected. So I got an 18 inch cable and I hope it's long enough. It might not be guys. Yeah, that's not long enough. All I needs a three footer. I don't know what I was thinking. See that it's like a super spongy weather seal. So that'll plug into the side of the GoPro. I can't show you right now cause I'm using it, but it'll plug into the side of the GoPro Got some tools here to install it. Once I get it installed, I'll show you guys. But, uh, can you come on out? But here's the aluminum housing that comes with it. Wow, that's well built. And I believe this is magnetic. Yeah, it's got a magnet there, so you know it's not coming off. So the GoPro goes in there. This little deal goes in there such and then there's a, a little 
keeper. So it'll go like that. Basically, it becomes a housing. And I like that it has the cold mounts, you know, in case I want to mount an item. Whew, my shoulder's really hurting today, folks. I had a hard time sleeping. Miserable time sleeping. 3BR Power Sports, thank you so much for the rapid service. And that way I'll at least have one camera that can continue running in the rain. <clears throat> okay. Item number two. Just something that I've looked at these for since they came out a couple years ago. And this is the version 2.0 of that product. And what I'm thinking with this, guys, is my underwater releases or just overall filming underwater. I want to shed some light down there, see what we can see. This is the Loom Cube 2.0. And this is the, an actual little kit. It comes with the diffuser, the Loom Cube itself. It's got a cold shoe mount, USB cable, three diffusers or warming gel. One's a warming gel, one's a frame, and one's a magnetic diffuser. So, okay, let's, let's pull this baby out. Do you guys have any experience with Loom Cubes? Like I said, I've looked at them for a long time. And my, my plan is to mount this. Wow, that's a, a durable piece of tech there. This is waterproof down to like, I don't know, 30 feet or so. Let's see if it has any juice in it. Nope, she's dead as a doornail. But uh, it's down to like 30 or 40 feet. So I'll put on the cold shoe, attach it to the GoPro, dip it down in there, see what we can see. And there's a, looks like that's the holder. And you've got diffuser. These are magnetic too, I believe. Oh man, super strong magnet. So you've got a diffuser for it and you have this filter that it's a warming filter. Improvements in this over the last Loom Cube 1.0 is that uh, the light itself, the LED, it does not have any hot spots. Like if you shine it down, you don't see that ring. So how do we do this? It's not going anywhere with that magnet, <laughs> that's for sure. And then that presses on maybe. You don't want to break it. Maybe there's more parts in the box. Here's the screw for the mount cold shoe mount. That's going to go right on top of the GoPro case. Just got the quarter, quarter inch threaded bottom. Then you've got the double locking nut. Locks it on there and then you can lock the cold shoe on. There we go. Very nice. And it comes with a USB-C cable for charging. It's got a low light mode, and then you can do it in increments of 10% lighting. Secret low light mode. It's for photographers who are doing long exposure photography. Oh, Bluetooth connectable too. So you can connect this to your phone app and control it there too. Pretty handy. There's your charging port on the back. It's fully waterproof your controls on top. It, I believe this is, that's aluminum. Yeah, so that's my new tech for the day. Satisfying click right there. Stack them if you want. But uh, yeah, that's it for my little unboxing. There's one other item that I'm on the fence about ordering and gonna kind of wait for, I have to wait at least another week and a half because it doesn't release till May. But uh, I'm not sure if I can chunk down the money for it, but we'll, we're going to see. So that's all I have for today. I hope everyone's doing well, and I hope that you're able to get out and do a little bit of fishing. I hope if you're on lockdown, I hope your waters are open or they open soon. So until then, stay safe, stay at home if you need to, and I'll see you in the next video.